Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and we have a Citroen here. We're going to do a PAT fluid uh, refill. It's the DPF fluid. And here we have a couple of bottles of the PAT fluid here. You can get these in different uh, type of bottles depending on the brand. And this one comes with an attachment nozzle there with a little hose that you can squeeze it into the bag of the car. And these are the other type of uh, fluid that you can get there, it's just different brands. So I've got the rear of the car here raised up. It's on a jack and we've got some stands over there. And just up underneath the car here, you've got the tank. It's just about here, they're a little bit different on each car. Not really familiar with this one, but we're gonna figure it out. So we've got some bolts here, 10 millimeter bolts to remove this uh, panel here. So we're gonna get those open. So now we've got the cover off, you can see the tank here. So you've got a couple of pipes, one that goes in and out. And we'll just get this top one open there, just by squeezing the tabs and pulling it. And it'll come out. So now we've got the bottle with the uh, attachment nozzle there attached. And we've got the holes here that we can insert into the fuel line. That connects into the uh, bag there in the uh, tank. Just pull that one out. And we'll just click those together. We're just going to route this up along so we can let gravity do a little bit of help by standing outside the car and raise it above the tank. Now we can just tip the bottle upside down. Just keep squeezing that in. Now that's all empty we can connect up the second bottle and the third bottle if required. So again we'll just attach the lid here and screw it on. Okay the uh, disconnected pipe there that works as an overflow so you can now see that we've uh, overfilled it because we've spilled a little bit on the floor there. That's all done we've just taken the jack down off the car now we can get inside and we'll have a look if there's any messages. So Turn that volume down. Just had a message on there. Uh, something about an engine fault. There you go. And we've got the DPF sign there on the dashboard, and the service message there comes on as well. Usually, let's start it up and see if that goes away. No, it doesn't. So we've got those two lights, and the service warning on there. Risk of particle filter clogging as well. So we're going to plug in our diagnostic machine here and reset the warnings that are on the dash. If we come down here where the cigarette lighter is, just up here, you'll see a little hole in the plastic tab and we can pull that down using a little pick tool here. Just pull that down and we can remove that. And we should have the OBD socket in there. And it's also given a message up there every now and then about the fluid level is too low on the DPF. So we're going to go into our diagnostic machine here, we're going to go into the hot functions. And it should be in here, the hot functions of the particle filter. So we need to program the quantity of the remaining in the reservoir. And we need to just put in the amount of fluid that's in there so there is about 2000 millilitres and that's done so in the diagnostic section here we have got these two codes P1445 and P15B3 additive calculated level is below the critical threshold uh, it's also saying there it needs a new, D new DPF um, you've probably seen in some of our other videos that's uh, not always the case, as you can reset these. If not, he's going to possibly need a DPF clean on it. Um, the problem is, is when you let the 
when you let the DPF fluid go too low, uh, it, you're just automatically going to block up your DPF. So we're just going to clear these, erase them. So to clear this code here, we're going to need to reprogram in the quantity of uh, injected fluid that needs to go in. So we're going to go back into our hot functions again. You can see there that fault's not clearing. It's the program of the quantity injected. So just press OK on that, so that's all set. Then we can go back, back to our diagnosis. Just going to check that first, then the engine second. So there should be a fault here. Now let's see if that'll clear. That's all done. So we can escape out of this now. And we should be able to start it up without any warning messages. Let's turn the volume down. And that's it, we're all clear. And that's all sorted.